And I remember you yeah. were really excited. You were really excited about that. Can you tell us a little bit about? Well, tell me a little bit more it about. Was, it, it was the first that I do, and I tell the first because, uh, uh, before that, no, after that, mm-hmm. after that, one of on my friends invited me to another exhibit. Mm-hmm. So I was preparing myself to that, mm-hmm. but that was my first one and feels very, very, first of all, very, very glad. Mm. I feel very glad that, that I was sending, because this exposition, this exhibit was very popular here in Guadalajara. And I remember I, I sent my portfolio all the months, all the months, all the months. And it was just like, it's just a try. Mm. And then they bring me back a message that I was accepted in the in the exhibit and it was just like <gasps> wow, wow what I, I'm gonna show to the world you know <laughs> yeah but it was very I have a mixed emotions mm. a mixed emotions because you know I want to share this with so much people mm-hmm. I want to share the things that I do with so much people but also, I want to show all this progress with people that I already love, you know? Mm. And this month, months ago, back in that, at that moment, I lost so much people in my life, mm. uh, physically and just like emotionally and things like that. Mm. And I know it that that people, it's not going to be in the exhibit that day you know mm. yeah so it was just like a kind of mixed feelings at that moment but i feel very proud of myself to be in that point right now you know mm. so it was just like mix, mixed feelings mixed up and i i told to my family my family it's not connected with me in that part mm. uh she know, my mother knows that I do tattoos, my father knows that I do tattoos, but it's only that mm. my family knows, you know. And <clears throat> I I thought that I'm gonna be alone in the exhibit. I'm gonna meet a lot of people, but I thought that I'm gonna be alone mm. without the people that I wanted to be there. Mm. But fortunately, one of my friends is gonna be there and feels like very very happy moment for me you know because i remember that day so much people comes to me and ask me what about the painting what about the this phrase you know what about how much time i spend doing this so much people take pictures about the so much people take pictures of the painting you know awesome yeah i got mine right in here (laughs) (laughs) and everybody was just who is Cherry Club Pong? This is cool. And I was just like, ah, I'm here, you know? And, <laughs> That's so and awesome. And it was just like very, very uh, mixed feelings in that day. But I feel very happy of that. Mm. I feel very happy to be the first one. I'd be so happy to learn about life in that day. <laughs> mm. And I feel so glad to be there. I feel very proud of me. I feel very, I have more trust in the things that I do, yeah. and the things that I express, you know? Mm. And it was it was challenging, but at last it's gonna, it feels very great with me, with my heart. It was just it. like checked, you know? Doing yeah. an exhibit, checked. That's awesome, man. <laughs> you, did, you did that, man. First of many, hopefully. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah i actually wanted to ask you about i actually got my own as you know while i was there <laughs> which i was super happy to have i know i sent i Thank sent you a video you. Mm-hmm. sent you a video or picture of what i had when i first saw it, it it's a lot to take in but it's awesome like when i first saw it, i was like wow it's first <laughs> of all how, have you counted how many faces are on it how, do you know how many like, uh i tried to count it the next day that i do that I tried to count it and I lost it when I was 107. Wow. 107, but there's a lot of more, you know? Oh my gosh. Yes. I was impressed with the, the 
I, I remember that I was in my room. It was kind of 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. or 1 a.m. And I, I've been carrying a lot of feelings that in that moment. Mm -hmm. And even if I think if you check it, you can see the, the date was October 9. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the last post. Uh, yeah, that. October 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I don't, I, I think I've been spent so much months without drawing or mm. so much time without drawing, you know? Mm. So I was keeping so much things inside of me. I, I was keeping so much ideas on, inside of me and I tried to express, put everything on it. Mm. I, I was thinking about that, not just like uh, something that I can tattoo, just something for me. That's one of the things that I do something just for me, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it seems there's like a lot of faces. Yeah, it's a lot of faces. <laughs> what is, can you translate this part right here? Todo esto culmina aquí. I'm still learning. Uh, I think that this is the last thing that I do on the painting. Mm -hmm. I remember this was the last thing that I wrote. Mm -hmm. in the painting i do the all the painting and this is the last thing so basically is everything ends here because there's nothing more to tell mm. nothing more to have clear everything ends here wow yes it, it <laughs> rhymes too it rhymes in english <laughs> <You think? laughs> I, think we can do a song. <laughs> I don't know how the idea that it rhymes in english <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Wow. But that was the, the thing. That text ends the, the whole painting. Wow. What is, is this Japanese right here? What is the Jap this Japanese? Yes. What does it say? I remember. I, I don't remember. If you want to translate this, I don't remember how, what is this. <laughs> okay. But I remember I see it in a just kind of manga. Mm. I, I got a lot of pictures of manga that I take it when I go out and I see something that calls my attention. Uh, visually, I take picture. All my cell phone, it's just, it's with a lot of pictures of references. So, so much things that I see in my whole day, uh, I take it for, use it as a reference, you know? Yeah. Awesome. And it says rhythm treble. Where does that come from? Ah, uh, I don't know if you see the guitars have a kind of switch. Ah. So I take it from the guitar because I, I used to have a guitar that was lost. And I remember some one of the things that I love it about that guitar, it was I can change with that. With that switch, I can change the the sound of the guitar. It's just kind of complement that I, to, I already told you that my draws is based on music. So mm. you see a lot of music here. Even but yeah, you see that maybe maybe gonna find some references because there's a Black Flag album cover. There's a Misfit cover. Even if here, I I try to do the more. Similar to the real life, but here is Kurt Cobain, and it was just like so much people here in in this painting. It is a lot. I feel like mm -hmm. we could we could spend hours just digging into this, <laughs> <laughs> but like people can people can look at it for themselves and see, I guess what aligns with like your story. You know, you talk about music, mm -hmm. like kind of the dark stuff, but also like the also the softness as well, and the mm -hmm. emotions. Um, I want to ask about this phrase. It says, we don't believe we don't believe you because we the people. What is that phrase referring to? It comes from a, a tribe called Quest song, mm. but I remember it was all uh, all that week. I was listening to that song and I was getting deep into that song because uh, that song arrives a very political situation that. You know, like racism and things like that yeah. to the Latin people, to the black people in the United States. That's something that I cannot understand because I don't live in America. Mm -hmm. 
but I see that kind of problems here in Mexico with so much people, mm. with the people who doesn't have the same opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was thinking about that situations in that week that I do that. And I tried to put it as a references. I like the phrase because it's just like, we don't believe you because there's a, so much people behind that phrase, you know? Yeah. And it was just telling to somebody in specific. So yeah. that I think that phrase comes with a lot of meaning and with a lot of people behind that. Yeah. Just as, as the draw that I do, you know, I think I express something along, but maybe yeah. so much people see it and then feels uh, connected with that. Mm. Maybe not for the whole painting, maybe just for a phrase, maybe just for something that see on the paint. Mm. But I think try to express something like that. Mm. Whenever someone can basically want to express something and hopefully that someone can find something within that that they can relate to themselves mm. and in their own life. I love it, bro. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So we only have 10 minutes left in the Zoom. So we're we're chilling. We're doing good with time and everything. Um. I wanted to ask you, we asked this in every single interview. I want to ask you, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but what does the phrase create to inspire mean to you? Can I elaborate on that? I I even have a something that I was I I do and I was thinking about that since you gave me the questions. Okay. But I think when I when you create something all almost for me. And you create something, you open the door for something more bigger than you, mm. you know? Mm. I I create the things that I do for, for open that door for me, mm. you know? Yeah. And maybe that things that I do not can, not the purpose of that is not be the best, mm. but be one who feels brave to share it. Mm. And that's something that so much people who was behind you or even in front of you going to see it. Mm. And I think it's kind of energy who shares, you know? Mm. And I think that's that's something that crea uh, creates an inspired means to me. I need to create something to, to open that door, door, to be better the next day, to not be caring... Uh, all those feelings, all the emotions, all the, the things that you know it, just for you. I wanted to share it because at last I'm going to die if you want to see it like that. Mm -hmm. And that's so much things that I need to share. Yeah. Even I need to teach how to share as the more uh, pacific way, as the more uh, healthy way, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that creative inspired means to me. Beautiful, bro. Hmm. I love the phrase of opening the door. You know, when we create something, yes. make something, it's opening a door to welcome other people to be a part of something that's bigger than us. I yes. really, really like that. I really like that a lot. So much people lives without opening the, the door, you know? Mm. So much people live his whole life with the fear of open that door. And I think... Everybody needs to have that chance of, of be open with his heart and the need, and the things that he needs to share, you know, he mm. wants to share. Mm. So I hope so much people can do it more. Yeah. Amen. After seeing this mm -hmm. video, I hope people will also be encouraged, you know, seeing you, you do, you do, mm. opening the door, that they'll be encouraged as well. And whenever there, yeah. a journey is to do the same thing. When you send me the message that I inspired to you to create pieces, it was just like, oh, yes, I did bro. it. You know, another another to the checklist. Another yes. one to the checklist. So <laughs> I look, I have it right really... here. Let me show you. Let me show it to you. Show us. I it's have very it cool, man. right here. And I, I don't even can imagine how that looks so beautiful. And I see this all the days, you know? Yeah. As it is all the days. And when I, but when I see your picture, it was... Very different. Wow. Because the memory's inside of it, bro. Yes. 
memories inside of it. I think that's a great uh, moment to conclude. I just want to thank you, Marcos, for hopping on the show, taking the time to chat with it was really, really, I really enjoyed it. It felt super real. And I'm just happy to see you. This is my first time. Well, I guess we tried this interview yesterday. It didn't work out. So it's definitely my second time <laughs> seeing you. But I'm super grateful. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me and share your story. Thank you for inviting me, bro. I think if this is my first interview about me this time, you know? And it was just like, what are you going to tell? What, what are you going to share? But I think I tried to be more uh, open mm. and just enjoy it be with you because i know you and you know me and that makes me feel more connected you know amen I feel the same so way thank man. you for for inviting me feel very happy to be here it's a honor really it's an honor to be here thank you so much all right i hope you guys enjoyed today's interview with marcos enjoyed hearing about his story I uh, really appreciate it, chatting with him, and I hope you guys can continue to open that door that Marcus talked about in your life, and hope this video inspired you to do so. And if it did, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share with a friend. I'll see you guys in the next video. And <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Create to inspire. Peace. See you. Oh, never stop. Never stop. Never stop. Stop for nothing. Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> never stop creating.